Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. These five minute decor ideas are some of my absolute favorite videos because they are super duper quick, super duper simple. I love bringing you quick and easy ideas. So I have done a couple of these, but they are over on my Christmas channel, The Cozy Christmas Cottage, and I will link that down in the description box. You can go ahead over there and watch those next. But in this video here on the Daily DIYer channel, I have five brand new five minute Christmas decor ideas to share with you. All right, so my first project DIY quick home decor idea for you is just how to change a simple everyday pillow into one for the holidays. So instead of going out and purchasing a brand new pillow cover for every pillow, use what you have and just update them a little bit with some ribbon. Um, and then I have a couple other tips that I wanted to share with you too, because this is something I do all year long and it's a huge money saver. So what I do is this is a pillow from Walmart. They are only $2.00. That is what I use for my pillow inserts. So even though this is like a rectangle shape, they just shove and fit right down into these. This is an 18 by 18 inch size pillow cover. So instead of purchasing expensive inserts, use the $2 pillows from Walmart. And then another tip that I have for you, like I was showing you this one, um, I actually purchased these pillow covers. They are just linen, super duper inexpensive from Hobby Lobby and they um, go 50% off. So I got this on sale. So it was only $2.75 for a pillow cover. You can't get much in it more inexpensive than that. And so I purchased several of these. I keep these on my couch all year long. I just purchased this one so you could see what they look like new. And what I do is I just shove my $2 pillow into my $2 pillow cover. I have a pillow that looks nice all year long in our living room. And then I'm just gonna update it with some ribbon. So this ribbon is from Hobby Lobby. This is from Hobby Lobby too. And this is also from when their rib ribbon went on sale 50% off. And so this roll was only $2 for a big, beautiful roll of ribbon. This has a velvet side and a printed buffalo check side. And what I'm gonna do is just wrap my ribbon right around my pillow cover to make it look like a present after I stuff it with my $2 Walmart pillow. So I opened up the pillowcase and as you can see, I had a ton of wrinkles, which I just couldn't live with. So this is my easy press. I don't know if you guys do this or not, but if you have an easy press or a heat press, I am definitely known to use those to iron with when I'm in my craft space instead of using a actual iron. It's just really, really handy. So I ironed out all the wrinkles and then stuffed the pillow with my $2 Walmart pillow. So like I said, I'm just tying ribbon right around the middle of the pillow and tying a knot. Now, of course, you could do this in a few different ways. You could even wrap ribbon going the opposite way up and down so that you have a crossways kind of look. Or you could even add a bow to the center of your pillow instead of the knot like I'm showing you. So just get creative. Use whatever ribbon you have on hand or whatever matches your home's decor and have fun with it. This next idea I've seen before, but I love it. And I actually have this blanket ladder. So I thought I would throw this DIY in there and kind of personalize it, make it my own. So if you do not have a mantle to hang your stockings from, this is an alternative. So like I said, this is a blanket ladder. I even have a tutorial on how to make this one and I will put that down in the description box. They are so inexpensive, they are so quick and they are so easy to make and they look great with your decor year round. But I'm gonna show you how easy it is to add some stockings and add your own personal touch to it to make your blanket ladder hold your stockings, but also really make it a beautiful accessory for your Christmas decor. So it's really simple. I'm using some thicker jute from Walmart to tie my stockings right onto the different rungs of the blanket ladder. 
I have seen where you can add nails to your ladder too and hang them that way. But if you're using jute, then you're not damaging your ladder and then you can just remove your stockings after Christmas is over and use it for blankets again. So you can see, I just put mine at different levels and if you have more stockings, of course you can add more stockings. I dressed mine up with a little bit more by adding some evergreen picks into a couple of the stockings and then adding a sign onto the top to kind of dress it up just a little bit more and then decided to even wrap it with some battery powered Christmas lights. You can see I tucked the buttons down into a stocking and then just randomly draped them here and there throughout the stockings and the ladder and it was just a cute extra little touch sitting next to the Christmas tree. It kind of just has that same similar look. Definitely optional and of course you can decorate your ladder however you wish. Time for today's emoji, which is a Christmas tree. Leave those down in the comments below for me. It's a fun way to decorate the comment section and spread a little Christmas cheer. If you don't have emojis, you can just leave the word Christmas tree. And I'm going to show you how really, really simple and quick we can put together a centerpiece. So as you can see, my table is pretty much cleared off and clean and we're going to Christmas fry it. So I'm going to show you what I have here, but I'm also going to give you some alternatives as we go through this because I want you guys to use what you have on hand and necessarily go out and like try to find these. The idea of this is to do quick ideas. So hunt around your house, find something that will work similar to what I have here to get the similar look that I'm going to show you. So basically I have a small wreath. This is a table runner. It's an everyday one. I believe it's from Hobby Lobby. You can even make one using some burlap and some, or some muslin and some paint. But if you don't have that, use a scarf. You could use a blanket scarf even, or even just a plain tablecloth and fold it up and make it into a table runner. I have a cake stand. Uh, the tray I'm using is an oval metal one, but a wood one, a rectangle one, any kind of tray that you already have would be great. Um, and then some type of centerpiece. I'm going to be using this white ceramic house just because I have it on hand, but I really think a lantern would be beautiful in the center of this too. And then I also have a couple reindeer, but think balance here. And the reason I have these is because they kind of face off different directions. But you could even use, think of, think like um, Christmas trees or even some candlesticks on each side. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to put this centerpiece together. So this really is just a very simple layering technique, adding the fabric first and then the tray to the center. And we're going to create this beautiful vignette using that wreath inside the tray and the cake stand right in the middle. Here's where you want to add some cute kind of centerpiece to the top. And then obviously I added those reindeers off to the side. I wanted to give you a look at the centerpiece all put together, but then also with some extra uh, options like I had mentioned before. So this is looking at some details of the tray. Really, really simple. Came together super quick as you saw, but looks really, really cute in the middle of the table or even on a coffee table. So here's an option with some candlesticks or even with some Christmas trees. Let me know which one is your favorite down below. And now we're gonna make a quick swag. So this is a pick I'm pretty sure from Hobby Lobby. That is where it came from, but it's just some greenery and then it already has berries and some pine cones on it. So this is gonna be the quickest way to create this because it's pretty well all put together. Um, if you can't find something like this, use what you have or use um, like a plain pick and then you can dress it up with some berry picks and some pine cones yourself or just leave it plain even if you like the minimalist look. So those are just some ideas. What I'm gonna do here is use some ribbon that is from Dollar Tree. It's like a burlap kind. It's got the wire in the edges. I love working with a wired ribbon because when you're gonna make a loopy bow, that's gonna make your loops stay fluffy and that is what we're wanting. So I'm gonna create a bow, add it right onto the top of this pick and then I'll be ready for hanging. 
All right, so I'm gonna show you how to make a really, really quick bow. So what I'm gonna do first is just cut off a section of jute or twine or string or even yarn, whatever you have on hand so it's ready to go when we need it. What I'm gonna do is make a loop. So I'm gonna put the tail of this bow on the bottom, fold the ribbon over it so that my center is now sitting on top of the center of my bow, and I'm gonna fold this over to make another loop on the other side. So now we wanna kind of gauge, do we want our bow bigger or smaller? I want my loops a little bit bigger. So it looks proportionate once we go to add it to the top of our swag. That is pretty good. So now we're just gonna continue creating loops. You wanna be mindful of the size of your loops. I want them all to be about the same size for this. And I think I'm gonna do probably, we'll see how much ribbon I have. Actually, I'm just going ahead, gonna go ahead and use up the rest of my ribbon and that is how I'm gonna make my bow and then I'll let you know how many loops I end up using. All right, so now I have four loops all the same size on both sides, so eight loops total. I left a longer tail because I want to make a smaller loop for the middle. That's going to be the center of our bow. So as you can see, instead of making a bigger fifth loop, I have made a smaller fifth loop, and there will still be four loops on this side. So now I'm going to take my center, I'm going to crease it by bending in the middle and then pulling the sides back. And then I'm going to grab my ribbon, because as you can see, now our hands are full, so it's nice to have our jute handy when we need it. Wrap it around a couple times. I'm gonna tie it in a knot on the back. All right, and now I'm gonna leave these jute strings longer on the back, so we're gonna use that to tie our bow on. But before we get that far, I need to cut off this tail, so just cut off the excess and don't make it too short because we don't want it coming back through our jute. And now you can start fluffing your bows. You're gonna pop them open, you're gonna kinda pull them and tug them around so they make kind of a round shape. If you want a straighter bow, you can just do them all off to the side too. And then once we have our bow kinda what we're wanting, then we can go ahead and use the string on the back to tie it onto the top of our pick. All right, so now, if you want, you can add, and actually, I think I'm going to, just go ahead and add some hot glue. If you don't want your bow permanent, so you can reuse your pick year to year and use it for something different, you don't have to add the hot glue. My bow is pretty wobbly, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the hot glue on there so that my bow doesn't wiggle around. And then what I'm gonna do is once that's dry, I'm gonna bend this pick and make a loop, and that is how we are going to hang our swag. And now we're gonna make the most quick, simple, and easy Christmas trees ever using these paint stir sticks. I find these and get these off of Amazon, so I'll link these down in the description box below. They come in handy for so many projects and they're super easy to work with. So we're gonna leave two of these the same size. They come 12 inches long, so we're gonna leave those long. We're gonna cut one, make one simple, easy cut. Uh, and we're gonna cut it at five inches, so the rest of it will be seven inches. So we're gonna start by cutting down that third paint stir stick at five inches. I'm using a miter box and hand saw to do this. I'll link this down in the description box below too. It's another one of those staple pieces I have to have in my craft stash for projects just like this. It goes really, really quickly. So again, you're gonna have two pieces at 12 inches, one at seven inches, and one at five inches. 
Now essentially we are going to be making a triangle and using hot glue to piece this all together. So I just kind of set up my triangle first and used my hot glue in the corners and made that triangle. Once that had set I flipped it over and added that five inch piece down at the bottom and we're going to be sticking this down into some styrofoam and the little bucket is from Walmart. It's really inexpensive. I want to say it was like two or three dollars and you used some hot glue to attach the stir stick down into the styrofoam so it wouldn't wiggle around. And then of course I needed to cover up that styrofoam. So I'm using some Spanish moss that's from Dollar Tree and hot gluing that down into the buckets to cover up the styrofoam. So I love, love, love the simplicity of this Christmas tree. You could also dress it up, you could paint it, you could stain it. So there's a lot of different ways you could personalize this and make it your own. I will have links down in the description box to tutorials and products that I mentioned throughout this video, so you can check those out down there. Also, I have even more five minute DIY videos popping up on your screen that you can watch next. If you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe, hit the bell, and select all so that you get notified when new videos pop up here on the Daily DIYer channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.